So guys, I'm in the jungle again. Two reasons for that. One, it's really windy outside, and the other reason is I wanted to make a video of a recipe I found, which I think is very delicious. Um, I've never tried it before. Shrimp toast. Just got down to the creek here. Looking nice, actually. Turn you around. Yeah, nice little, little creek. Very pristine. Ah. Um, yeah, look, looking pretty small there. We might um, might go a little bit further up. This all looks really good, but it's quite shallow. So the reason I'm walking along here is to find a deeper pool. Um, it's only just rained not recently, so we're looking for something where water will sit when it's been dry for a while. Maybe actually up there looks pretty good. I just stopped in knee deep, well less than knee deep water to adjust my pack and I can feel a shrimp at the front of my shoe and a shrimp at my ankle. And what they're doing is they're taking the skin off my off my body because that's they obviously like to eat that. I'll see if I can get some underwater footage for you. I'm gonna bait the traps with a bit of bread. Let's put the trap, I'll go right in the middle of the creek here. And I've actually put a camera inside the trap, so this should be pretty good. Hopefully we'll get a, an update oh, every now and then on if anything's going in the trap. Now the traps are in the water, let's, uh, let's see what we can catch. Uh, I used to catch a lot of little, like, yabbies. Um, just by hand and we might get some shrimp so let's have a play I've got the rod there as well but um, the idea is to get shrimp or yabbies oh they're definitely in here have a look at this I just found a claw that's exactly what we're after. In Australia, we call that a, a yabby. In America and other places, you call that a a, um, a crawdad or a crawdaddy or a crawfish. Yeah, that's exactly what we're after. That's a good size. Um, let's keep let's keep going. Nothing there. Uh, oh, what is that? That is a very red-looking little tip there. There he is, he's tiny. Hello little guy. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, and, and look at this, look where I found him. Just the slightest bit of water. It is actually moving, you can see it see it flowing here. And um, yeah, these guys, like if the water level goes down, they just move closer to the stream. So we're gonna take everything we can get today. As long as they don't have eggs, like the eggs are usually held in here. Now it's going to make the water dirty for a while. Try and find another one. There we go. Right where we left, where we found it. So now this doesn't look like a lot to most people, but to me, that is a sign of an animal that's been under there. Now the water level's gone down, and I don't suspect he's still there. But let's have a lift of that. Oh. <sighs> nah, nothing under there. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, there's a burrow. That's actually that there is a burrow. Oh, there he is. We found him. Oh, he's only a little fella. But that theory worked. I'm tracking yabbies. Oh, crawfish, look at that, there he is. There we go. Nice little yabby or oh, crawfish. Well, um, we may as well keep him, just in case there's not too much in the in the crab pots. But that, that pile of dirt there, and that little tunnel, that's that's where he was. And uh, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Put that rock back, there we go. I wonder if there's any shrimp or ghost shrimp in my trap.
a new little collapsible rod I found on Amazon. I've actually got it listed on my page if you have a look at the description in the video. Um, I used to fish a lot with little collapsible fiberglass rod but it was it was too soft. So I'm hoping this one will, will work nicely. And I also got a new reel for this as well, a little 1000. It's a Pen Battle 2. And uh, yeah, I haven't used it yet, but um, it looks really nice. Feel, feels good. So I'll give this a little run while we wait for the, the traps to work. Nice tiny little rod. Alright, this looks like a good space to start. There's a water spider again and a yabby on the rock over here. So we'll try the spider first. Got my little remote camera there, hey? Look at that. Oh, there he goes. Yep, quite happy to run around on the water. Now let's see if we can get a closer shot of this yabby. Or well, the crawfish, he's tiny. But that's what we're after here. Oh, there he goes. Water is cleaning up and I did actually see one he was sitting here and he went into this hole here so I might actually lift this rock completely out of the water oh there he is he just shot out let's hunt this guy there he is feelers oh there he goes right at the camera get him out with the rock and the wood all together there he is got him as you can tell, it's not easy to hunt these guys. So I'm definitely hoping we've got, um, yeah, some more in my traps, because two of these is not gonna do it. Oh, there's one. Got him. <laughs> there we go, we're getting a few now. Yeah, nice. Just going to try a different lure. This is a new knife I got actually. It's a uh, real steel T1014. It's uh, yeah, really quite interesting. This will be my new bush knife. So what I'm doing here, you can do almost anywhere. It doesn't have to be Australia. It doesn't have to be Queensland. And fathers, kids, if you do this stuff together, it's, it's great fun. You can spend a whole day out in the bush, out in the environment, and um, yeah, catch a few little critters. You can eat them, you don't have to eat them. But it is, it's a lot of fun just to explore, exploring new places. I mean, have a look. It's just a, a beautiful place. It's just amazing. It's like a nice little spot for a um, just a quick flick with a rod. It um, looks like it could be deep enough when it's dry to hold fish, so we'll just we'll give that a fish. I think it's almost time to head back and check those traps out. They should be full of, well I'm hoping they're full of shrimp. They could be full of, um, oh there's a fish, a little tiny one. No, alright, let's go head back and check these traps. Now where did I put those shrimp traps? I think they must be yeah, they're definitely down further. I haven't gone past them yet. Oh, I recognise that big fig tree there. The um, first trap is right here. Let's hope there's some shrimp in it. I really want some shrimp. Oh, let's um, we'll grab the rope and pull it up real quick. It's not so that they don't all just wander out. All right, there we go. What have we got? Oh, we've definitely got a couple there. Woohoo! Oh, there's some big ones in there. Let's have a look. Let's see, I'll just grab one or two of the big ones out for you. There we go. There's a, a nice, nice shrimp. They could be ghost shrimp. Uh, when they're younger, you can see right through them. So glass shrimp or ghost shrimp. But um, I reckon I've got maybe Eight or nine in there. Oh, I 
think I was filming then. Oh yeah, yeah, we've got a few more in there. Let's have a look at these guys. So yeah, we've definitely got a few in there. Look at that. I might try and find a spot away from the river because the river's a little bit loud and it's a little bit dark in here. So I'll find a spot just off the river, like maybe 20, 30 meters, and we'll cook up the prawn toast there. It's gonna be yummy. All right, let's go and, let's go and find a nice spot. It surprises me, but there's a croc in the river here, look. I knew they were downstream, but not this far up. That's, that's definitely a croc, you can see it. It says croc on the back there. Who thinks I've been in the jungle too long? <laughs> oh, I'm going to get my shoe. <laughs> I'm going to lose it. Wait! I think I better hurry. I just felt a few drops of rain. The um, here, the overcast is from a storm coming in. So we'll just take the tops and bottoms off the prawns, and we'll actually um, what we'll do with these guys here is we'll split them down the middle, and then we'll take out the meat, and that way we don't have that big hard hard shell. We've done all the ghost shrimp and the yabbies, or crawfish, and now we'll just do the fish. And what we'll do is we'll keep the fish pretty much whole, but we'll just remove the stomach area. So just a nice sharp knife, and just cut that bottom section of the fish off. There we go. And that fish is now gutted and ready to be eaten. We'll do that with the rest of them as well. This board I was chopping on is actually a herb cutting board. So it comes with a little knife, and that's going to be ideal for what we're going to do. So first I'm going to get my Thai coriander and my chili. I'm going to de-seed the chili, and then I'm going to chop, as I'm supposed to, all the herbs. Chili's nice because it adds a bit of colour and a little bit of taste, um, a little tiny bit of heat. But I'm taking most of the, well, I'm taking all of the seeds out, so I don't get that real intense heat. Then we, um, yeah, we'll just chop those up, nice and fine. Now, if you were doing this at home, you'd actually use a, a food processor. But seeing as I'm in the bush, I'm just doing it this way. Now we're just going to add all our fish and shrimp and crawfish and crayfish and just chop that up. Now it looks pretty pretty horrific at the moment but I guarantee you it will look delicious and taste great later on. Nice paste and that actually smells really good. Fresh fish doesn't actually have a smell so if you're used to the horrible smell of fish from a fish market that's not what this is. Okay, now that's been chopped down. I've got some corn flour, salt, and sugar. We just put that on there. There's about a uh, bit over a teaspoon there. It's um, it's only a small amount for me. And then I've got an egg. So I only want maybe half the egg for that because it's not a not a lot. So let's break that in half. And I'm quite happy if I just use the egg white. So I'll just keep the egg yolk in the egg. There we go. That's that's perfect. All right, we'll eat that later. There we go. And we just combine all those things together. That egg was a little bit too much, so it's it's quite moist, but I can work with that. I'll just put some more wood on the fire because this sort of forest timber is really soft. Like it, you just snap it like that. So. I want a nice heat on this, so I'll just put a little bit more on, but that'll be ready in, in about three minutes. Most recipes call for white bread, but I like to be a bit healthy, and we'll just use this uh, multi-grain bread. And to get the most out of our paste, we'll cut the corners off the bread, 
there we go then we want to get about half of our paste and just put it straight onto the bread there we go use my fancy new bush knife I like this knife it's um yeah it's really sharp and it's um yeah nice and compact but really sturdy all that fire's getting up a little bit yeah, all right so yeah we just spread that paste all around get that bread nicely coated I think I've mentioned what I'm doing this is a a shrimp toast so I've never tried a shrimp toast before but I think it's going to work out pretty good. And there we have two squares of shrimp toast. Now to get them into my pan, we're going to cut them into triangles. Nice tasty triangles. There we go. Alright, rather than carry a big container of oil, I've just got this little spice container. And that should be enough oil. Yep, I think that'll do nicely. So this is rice bran oil. It's um, got a higher temperature for frying. I normally like olive oil for my cooking, but when I'm frying, um, especially this sort of thing, rice bran is a good, good oil to use. Okay, that looks nice and warm. Get my first bit of shrimp toast in there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Nice sizzle. All right, we'll get the others in there as well. Oh, it looks like it's going to work very well. There we go. And the last one. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that first one. This only takes a very short amount of time. Maybe three or four minutes. Alright, I think the first one's done. Oh, yes. And we'll just fry the bread on the other side, but that looks delicious. Now, which was the second one I put in? I think it might have been this one. I'm not sure, but... See if he's ready. Oh, he's a little bit light, but we've turned him, so we'll leave him there. All right, we'll turn the last two. Oh, yes. They look very, very delicious. Just fry that bread off. Actually, I think this one probably come out. But we'll just finish frying those other ones off. Well, look at that. Shrimp toast. This is gourmet cooking in the bush. It's um, yeah, amazing what you can create with simple ingredients and very basic cooking gear. Alright, I'm done. That is delicious. Let's get that out. Come on, out you come. Whoa. Hear how crunchy that is. Uh, I do like trying new recipes. And I think this shrimp toast recipe will have to be repeated at some stage. Look at that. The tops look delicious. And the bottoms. That one's gone a little too far, but... Oh, that is going to be some very tasty food, and yeah, I can hear that storm coming in. Let's try this delicious shrimp toast. Mmm. 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 Very nice. I need deep more to, to get the flavour of it. Mmm. I can't describe it. I can't taste fish. I can't really taste shrimp. But it, it is really nice. I'm going to have to work on my um, colour and describing skills. It has a very mild um, pex paste, as is what I can describe it as. But you should try. I don't think the light's very good in here. That's actually got a really nice brown, like chocolatey brown tinge to it. And I think the, the colours are washed out because it's, yeah, it's getting dark in here. But I can recommend 
shrimp toast and I think this is Chinese inspired so Chinese shrimp toast yeah mmm very nice thanks for watching guys I'll catch you somewhere next watching time everyone please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos I do them every week I'd also like to say a big thank you to my patreon supporters and people who've donated through PayPal some of you have gone far beyond what I've ever expected every little bit helps and if you want to see more right now click the uh, the links above catch you next time